Congratulations. If you are watching this video, you or someone you love is the recent recipient of a Foley catheter. And we're going to take a few minutes to talk about the catheter, how to care for it, keep it clean, how to drain it, how to take it for walks. And since I obviously know nothing about medicine, we have someone here who does. Nurse Jennifer is here to talk about the care and feeding of your Foley catheter. This is what a Foley catheter looks like. It's inserted up your urethra, it sits in your bladder, and we use it for continuous bladder uh, drainage after surgery. Mm -hmm. um, we use it to rest the bladder. Some people have it for a week, some people have it for a day. But nevertheless, you need to learn how to take care of it because we can't always tell you how long you're going to have it in. This catheter is held in place with a balloon that's filled with water. As you can see, this prevents it from slipping out mm -hmm. as you're walking around. We also have a way to secure it to your leg. When it's time to remove the catheter, I'll teach you how to deflate this balloon on your own at home so you can do this on okay. your own. And what is this end hooked to? This end is not used at all. This end here will be attached. You'll come out of surgery with this all attached already. These attach like this, and mm -hmm. this is actually how it looks. We tape, we tape this portion to secure this portion to your thigh, and you're able to, you're able to move this around as need be, as, as per your comfort. Mm -hmm. And um, this, I want to let everyone know this blue port here is not used by the patient whatsoever. It's something for a nurse or a physician to use. Um, it's just to obtain specimens, but mm -hmm. it's, it's just nothing that's important here. And this goes down to the bag that holds this, the urine. It, correct. And mm -hmm. then you're able, um, to, you want to always watch this tube and make sure that you're draining urine. You should be continuously draining urine. Mm -hmm. It's better if the urine's light, we'd like it to be light yellow, color, pale yellow. And the more fluid you drink, the better that will uh, be, okay. the more dilute your urine will be. If your urine at any time appears bloody, that means you need to drink a lot more fluids. A patient that has a catheter should, if they're able to, drink eight to 10 eight ounce glasses of water mm -hmm. at least a day. Um, it can be water, it can be Gatorade, it can be juice. We prefer it to not have caffeine or alcohol in it because mm -hmm. they both, um, caffeine is a bladder irritant right. and they both dehydrate you. Okay, so is there uh, some kind of pump that's gonna pump the urine down into the bag? How does that work? No, the urine just, uh, drains from your body without you doing anything. You'll have the urge of uh, urgency and a frequency to go. We can give you medications to calm that mm -hmm. and you just just go go just yeah. go and gravity does it. Yes. Fantastic. Now the thing about a catheter is when you have it at home you'll be carrying it from room to room. Right. You need to make sure to keep this bag below the level of your bladder so that the urine doesn't backflow up into your kidneys. Mm -hmm. you, um, you Are you saying that gravity works downhill? No. Yes. <laughs> You don't want to be walking around with it up here. You want to walk around with it by your side. Correct. If you're having a good urine output, you're drinking a lot, you'll have to empty this catheter. You're able to empty it into a toilet. Um, we can give you a container to take home. You don't really need to measure how much you're urinating. You'll see the nurses at the institute do that, and that's because we put a lot of fluid in you, and we need to make sure it comes out of you. But at home, you just want to make sure you put out about a cup of urine every four hours. If you're putting out less than that, there's many reasons for that. Um, it, that can be because you're dehydrated, you're not drinking enough fluids. Mm -hmm. It could be if the catheter is actually plugged off mm. with a clot, um, if you've had a lot of bleeding. There could just be a problem itself with the catheter. That would be a reason to call us if you didn't see urine draining for, for over a short period of time. Right. If you've been drinking fluids and you're expecting it to fill and it's not, there's something up. Correct. All right, so I've been drinking the fluids, doing what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. The bag is filling up, and mm -hmm. uh, how do I know when it's time to drain it? Well, the bag gets quite heavy. You want to empty it probably when it hits the 1,000 mark here, which means one liter. It's fine to empty it before that. You probably want to empty it, oh, every three or four hours. Mm -hmm. um, if you're going for a car ride, it will definitely last, you know, for many hours mm -hmm. in your bladder without okay. emptying it, but you could just pull over at a rest stop um, use the bathroom and then um, go from there. Is there a way that it can be overfilled? Is there a danger to me? No, I don't think so. But you you would want to empty it like every three or four hours. That should be plenty. It okay. does hold overnight. That's the advantage of having such a big bag is that you right. can go to sleep for eight hours mm -hmm. and you just need to empty it before you go to bed and then after you wake up in the morning. Mm -hmm.
So why don't we demonstrate how to empty the catheter um, so that everyone knows how to do that. Okay. So we don't have a toilet next to us, so when I'm taking care of the patient, I would kneel down at the bedside. Now remember, I'm not going to really pick it up this high when I have a patient in this bed, but I'm just going to demonstrate to you. I would be wearing gloves. You don't need to be wearing gloves at home. You just wash your hands before and you wash your hands after. Looks like you put on gloves before. Yes, many times. This green squeezy ripper here, and this just enables you to easily take the tubing out and put it back in. That has no function at all as far as getting the urine out of the bag. This clamp on the side here, that is what we unlock to empty the urine into the bag. And then when you're done, you need to be careful, make sure it's clamped shut, otherwise you'd have leakage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all you're going to do, push down lightly on the clamp. You don't have to bend it. That's one of the problems that we have with patients bending it. There is a little button on the inside that it lines up with, and you just push it down. Now you can do this over your toilet, you can do it over a urinal, you can do it over any kind of a container. Um, it's actually good for the patient to get up and go into the bathroom every once in a while because then they're moving around, they're getting some activity, it's good for their heart. Uh, it's part of the recovery process. Now, let's talk a little bit about the color of the urine. This looks like it has a little methylene blue in it because we do use some dye with surgery. Um, you want your urine to be pale yellow, however, when you have a catheter, it's very common for there to be blood in your urine. It's just an irritation. And so you want to drink a lot of fluids to dilute your urine. The other problem that people have is sometimes they're passing clots. So you need to make sure that urine continuously flows through this tubing so that a clot doesn't obstruct and prevent your urine from um, emptying from your bladder. If your urine is uh, burgundy color, that can be normal, but that's also blood in there and you need to flush it out. As you drink more fluids, the urine will become pinker. Obviously, um, that's not quite normal, but know that if it's pink, that's okay. You just want to drink lots and lots of fluids. If your urine becomes thicker, like tomato paste mm. or ketchup, mm -hmm. there's a problem. And usually, if you have a lot of blood in your urine, it's a sign that um, you're doing too much, you're too active. Maybe you picked something up you shouldn't have. Kay. So the first thing you wanna do is lay down, get in a recliner chair, get on the couch, get in your bed, put your feet up and start drinking fluids. You want to drink at least a liter of fluid at that time. And then watch because after 20 minutes or so, it should begin draining and it should lighten up and pink that up. Quick. It can, yes. Yeah. So hmm. if it doesn't, if you still, after 20 minutes, you're drinking lots of fluids, mm -hmm. you still don't see urine coming out, right. or you're worried about the amount of clots, you need to give us a call. Okay. If you're really concerned, you are to go call 911, go to the emergency room, go to urgent care. Mm -hmm. But if we are open during the day from 8.30 to 5, you can give us a call and we can help you. Okay. You will be sent home with um, irrigation supplies, so if there is a lot of blood, um, your loved one who's taking care of you can help you irrigate the catheter. Okay.